In this video, we are going to talk about search bar and what can be improved by search bars on an e-commerce stores that are going to use the user experience, usability, and what should be present in an e-commerce search bar that is going to improve your sales further. Because 50% of the users, your e-commerce users, they are going to use only search bar. I think it is, this pattern is increasing day by day. People who don't know what they are looking for, they are mostly going to just go into the type uh, the for the ease of use or uh, to avoid more, more effort, they are going to type in and search for that product. So there are different ways to improve that. I'm going to share with you the tips, uh, different uh, uh, search bars from major e-commerce stores and I'm going to point out different things you can implement in your own e-commerce store. So whenever you buy Shopify themes or e-commerce, WooCommerce themes or your store website, whenever you design it, try to implement these into your search bars. So let's get started. The first thing is that prominent and big search bar is better. So as it is with images, similar pattern is with search bars. Bigger is better. Second is good, good contrast and placement in the top middle. I think I have already showed you that uh, I'm going to, I will share the same example again in the, at the end of this video, that good contrast is really going to play a lot of role and it must be in the middle so user can easily type it. A bigger uh, search bar in the middle is the pattern right these days. Search suggestions, this is really, really important because your search engine capability, your search engine suggestions, they are going to uh, do a magic for your customers. So let's get started and see some of the examples. Now here is a leak from goodui.org and it is about itsy.com. So itsy was actually trying to uh, implement a bigger search bar and they tested the ABC test. Actually they had three variations I guess but they have uh, two right now. In October 19, 2019, they had this test and uh, on the left they have smaller search bar and now they have implemented a bigger search bar. So this means that bigger search bars are going to be better for the users and even for uh, your sales. Now one more tip and one more trick I have seen with a lot of websites is that all of these you can see at the top we have eBay, then we have Louis, then we have New Egg that is electronics. You can say, see that their major categories are very near uh, to the search bar because a lot of people they are going to look for the search bar and it must have a great contrast. You can see over here uh, the blue background of Louis and New Egg had a dark uh, bluish green background and then we have very white in the middle. Similarly for eBay, they have a very dark black line around their search bar. So this is really good. You have to have great contrast in the middle, very big. You have to place your major categories like you can see on Louis. We have ideas, services, savings, shop. These are four things over here that are very close. In the eBay, we have shop by category, drop down, which is very close. Then we have uh, in the new egg, we have Black Friday ad, Black Friday deals now, PC builder, top trending cases. These are all the things that are very close to the search bar, which maybe maybe these can be popular searches or something like that. So let's see a few more examples. A very nice feature which I have seen in new egg is that when I try to click in their search bar, it shows me my recent searches, which is really nice. Search bar with power of suggestion and keeping my searches in memory last search. And uh, I was looking for a, a, a graphic card over here and I was really amazed that, oh, uh, it has remembered that I was looking for this one. So similarly, at the bottom, we have Amazon and Amazon, if you try to click M disk, it will show you some suggestions. Then it will also show you some categories in the suggestion, M disk in electronics and things like that. So this is a really big yes of any search bar. Then we have Louis. So you can see there is another pattern which is showing me trending searches, which is not present on other websites, but I really love this one. 
so if some uh, you can see the people are mostly searching for refrigerators it is uh, summer season i think ceiling fan insulation things like that so they showed me that are you looking for these this can make me my work easy maybe i need to look for insulation i was looking for insulation i just click on the insulation and it will show me all the results here is another example this is a local website over here it is built with shopify i guess and we have different suggestions when i type men t-shirt although the search bar is not very you can say advanced but if i have to uh, search i can see there are pages related to this search although they are on written on the very right side over here which i don't like but we have different images in the search product images this is really going to work well if you can find a shopify plugin a woocommerce plugin that can enhance the search results where it can show uh, the items different categories and also it can show uh, the images of your products with their uh, like this listing like this this is really going to be a great suggestion in your search bar now one more pattern which is simplicity in search bars a lot of people think that the search bars must be very difficult to use or maybe they you have to list all your categories and things like that advanced search you have to make it simple as simple as i can so rather than showing like multiple four or five or six or seven different uh, fields over here on the right this booking.com ab test actually they tested and implemented the design on the left because the on the left side looks really simple and it's just think it looks like that there are three actually fields input fields to fill and then you can easily search but on the right it looks like a big form you have to fill so this is a really nice you have to use a single search bar rather than multiple line search forms it is a better way of using search bar and making it easier for the users to search now i hope you have learned a lot about search bar design uh, and how to implement different patterns how you can improve it how you can use different plugins and um, if you have any questions i'm uh, good to see them right now you can ask me in the discussion you can ask me in the q a section you can reach me out on my website uh, and uh, that is all i hope you have enjoyed this lesson see you soon in another video till then take care